Good morning, Aquarius. This is going to be your reading. Um, every month, month after month, I say, oh, I'm going to go ahead and get these videos out early and woo-woo-woo. And, you know, I, I've been dealing with my own triggering. I really have. I've had my own tower moments over the, the past week. It's been crazy. Um, and, you know, and I can't do, you know, readings unless I'm right. You know, but everything happens for a reason, and uh, I'm get to the other side of it, and you know, you're better than ever. So here I am. <laughs> but um, I did want to get you know your reading done today. Can you give me some cards, please, for my Aquarius viewers? You know, and I feel like, you know, when I go through my moments, it was way too many, but I will take this one. Um, it makes me more empathic. And um, able to, you know, help my viewers more. So, boy, and those just shot right out. <laughs> So did that one. I said, well, let me sit in here today and do my Aquarius and my Libra. All right, give me two more cards for my Aquarius viewers. these two. We want those. the oracle card for my Aquarius friends. Give me a vampire oracle card for my Aquarius friends. And I've been in Facebook jail for almost a week. I've got three days left over some stupid shit. So then I'm not able to even share my videos on there. You know, in the past five times I've been in Facebook jail, I only had, you know, like maybe three days and I could still use Messenger. I can't even post on my regular page um, or my, um, my business pages or use Messenger. And I have a whole business that is dependent upon the messenger. So, you know, unless I've had that person's phone number, I've had to contact somebody who I know does. Be like, you know, can you let them know that I can't message them back? I could see it. So, man, it's been one. But, you know, at the same time, I kind of feel like I needed that. I needed a break. All right, give me um, a Romance Angel card for my Aquarius friends. That one stand out, and that one did not want to go back in. Right. 
Um, so the first card that I have um, is the Page of Swords. And basically, um, this is about a new mindset, a brand new mindset. Um, you know, maybe you've had um, tower moments lately, um, but now you have this moment of clarity and um, where you have a new mindset. Um, and I feel like this has to do with how you see yourself. Um, you seeing yourself in a higher light and really being uh, more balanced now. Um, and like I said, I feel like this is a moment of clarity for you to where, you know, the veil is very thin right now between like the physical and the spiritual world and um, where we're really able to see why things are happening. Um, and so this is that energy that I'm picking up on where you're actually able to see why things are happening or listening to your, your inner guidance, that inner voice. Um, because it's clarified by appreciation. So I feel like this is an appreciation of like the lessons that you've had lately, you know, and I've had to do that as well. You know, I've had to look at situations and be like, um, you know what, I'm kind of grateful for this, even though it was kind of a tough lesson. Um, and even if it was a little painful, um, just the, the clarity and, you know, like the enlightenment that I gained from it, you know, I'm just really grateful for that. So that is the energy that I'm picking up on right now. And I really feel like um, this is how it is for, you know, humanity altogether right now. Um, really seeing that everything happens for a reason. Um, we have the death card. So I feel like this is a death of a situation, not an actual physical death, but maybe even like the old you um, is gone. And now there's this new you who is um, even more um, spiritually connected and even more enlightenment and um, that everything that you believe to be true is gone. And now you have, like, like I said, this new mindset, um, really shedding your skin like a snake. And that is what we do <clears throat> because it's clarified by ancient ancestry, Egypt, magical inheritance. Um, this is more of, like I said, a soul connection. Um, so many times when we hear ancestry, we want to think about, um, you know, like our, you know, our ancestors, our bloodline. Um, you know, I've been looking a lot into like maybe getting um, one of them ancestry DNA tests because I really want to know um, what all I'm composed of, which, you know, I have a pretty good idea, but there's a couple of things I kind of wonder about. Um, but I feel like this is more or less um, that soul DNA um, of what all your soul has been, you know, prior to incarnating in the body that you're in now um, and knowing. And you may even be having uh, maybe deja vu moments. You know, and deja vu is nothing more than like a glitch in the matrix. You know, if you start having those deja vu moments, you know, sometimes it has to do with past lives, you know, what you have been prior to incarnating here. I know um, I've listened to music before and I've had like this really weird deja vu feeling and I've had even had memories um, come through. So I feel like you might even be experiencing some of this. And I've talked about past lives before. Um, sometimes it's being attracted to or drawn to something that you don't know why. I mean, there for a while I was wearing like vintage clothes and um, and then I, I know how to do things like um, like a lot of herbal cures, a lot of natural cures and how to make things. And I, I never knew how, like I didn't Google it. I just knew how to do this. Um, and, and I know that it's past life related. So if anything like that comes up for you or if you're drawn or attracted to anything, um, that is what it is or any kind of knowledge that you don't even know how you have it. Um, we have Empress, the Empress, or yeah, the Empress card. You know, so I'm picking up on this femininity, um, this strong um, feminine energy of um, 
really being very intuitive you know and you can be a man watching this and you know maybe you're getting in touch with your intuition intuition is um, really a feminine energy um, because it's feeling based it doesn't have anything to do with the mind that's the reason why women are more intuitive than men naturally um, so I do feel like this has to do with really tapping into your intuition um, and really kind of feeling it through we have Wiccan read by the Wiccan law you must this is my witch's oracle deck in perfect love and perfect trust eight words the Wiccan read fulfill I need my glasses oh my goodness do as you will Oh, let me grab my glasses. I swear I'm blind as a bat. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. And perfect love and perfect trust. Eight words the wicked read. Fulfill, run ye, harm none, do as ye will. Find forever. Mind the rule of three. Well, what we send out comes back to thee. Follow this with mind and heart, and marry ye meet, and marry ye part. So sorry. I'm so blind. So basically, this has to do with like the energy that we send out comes back to us. I mean, like karma is not really a thing. It has to do with like this boomerang um, that what we put out returns to us um, so really be careful of your intentions right now um, of what you send out and the reason you do something is more important than the thing that you're doing so whatever you're doing the guidance that's coming through is to check in with yourself and check in with your intention um, to make sure that your intention is pure so that you have a good outcome, which really any outcome is good because any outcome um, is going to, you know, teach you and guide you in some kind of way, you know, and there are many paths to get to where you're going to the divine design in your life. And sometimes we take paths that um, involve more learning, so to speak, and more experience. Um, we have the king of coins. So basically, um, I feel like you have more abundance coming into your life um, just because of the energy that you're putting out. And you're also following your guidance now as far as um, really being in line with um, that divine design um, that is for your life. But you need to be very careful because so many times we focus on the finish line of getting there and we forget that you know we are here to experience. And that fear of messing things up sometimes um, will really block us from really experiencing more. So make sure that your fears are not keeping you from um, pursuing any type of opportunities that come your way out of fear of loss or fear of change. Um, that has really came through because I feel like this opportunity for more money for abundance is coming to you. Um, but you want to make sure that um, you don't block it because you're trying to maintain the status quo where you're at and really um, stay stagnant and stuck. And we have autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. And this is to clarify that king of coins. Um, so yes, you have more abundance coming um, in the autumn in the fall months. Um, if you follow your guidance and if you um, release those fears that you have around really taking this chance. Um, we have we have the nine of cups um, and so basically there are things going on behind the scenes that you can't see right now a lot of illusions um, 
and what you need to tell yourself that whatever is meant for you, you cannot lose. You cannot lose it. If it's meant for you, you cannot lose it. Um, so many times we sit up and we worry and we worry and we worry that we're going to lose something that we actually even push it away from us. Um, but if you can tell yourself that <clears throat> I cannot lose what is meant for me, that will like help you to kind of balance out your energy and balance these fears out. Um, because we have separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, I feel like um, this card has come up because you need to kind of step back and take some time for yourself to kind of work through this right here um, and really kind of work through any type of fears that are coming up for you right now. Um, and so this means you may have to pull back your energy a little bit and really kind of spend some time alone and really go inward. Um, you know, and maybe you've done this. Maybe that's where this new mindset has came from. Um, but if not, this is what you're being guided to do. And like I said, you cannot lose anything that's meant for you. And I know this has helped me so much to know this because otherwise I will sit and worry and worry and worry about it. Um, you know, and the other thing that's coming up is that your fears may actually cause this separation. Um, because you may actually push someone away with your insecurities. So make sure um, that, like I said, if you got to take a little bit of time to kind of step back and work on yourself, that you're able to do this. The lovers. And the lovers is about a choice. So I feel like maybe somebody from your past is coming back. Um, it's almost like this feeling of that this connection that you're in now, maybe it's kind of on the rocks a little bit. And I feel like the reason why it's on the rocks is because you are feeling insecure. It's nobody else's responsibility to make us feel secure. So if you're looking to your partner for this, that's the wrong way to go about doing it. But I feel like maybe someone from the past is coming back or they have or they're going to. And because you're feeling insecure, you may actually kind of step out of bounds a little bit and start maybe entertaining this person because maybe they're making you feel some kind of way. Um, and then you now you have this choice. But you really need to go back and look at this original connection and see if maybe you are the one that's to blame. Because so many times, it's our own insecurities and we project them onto others. So make sure you really check in with yourself and I would really um, take some time to work through this, really kind of pull back um, from both of these energies for right now and really focus on yourself. All right, we have before the gathering, celebration, anticipation, and event. This is kind of a wild card. I don't know me. I feel like maybe um, you or this person from the past is going to show up at maybe some kind of mutual party, maybe a birthday party. Maybe um, you're out with friends and you run into them. And it's almost like, you know, it's like Phil Collins, like you can feel it coming in the air tonight. You know, that whole feeling that something is up, you know, and, you know, maybe you, you were feeling some kind of way and you decide to go out with friends um, because maybe you and this person are taking some time off. And then, like I said, you run into this person, this, this other energy, this person from your past. Now, I can't tell you. Um, who it is that you're, you know, meant to be with, you're going to have to follow your heart and really trust your intuition and let your intuition guide you, um, this Empress energy um, that I was picking up on. Um, but like I said, you're really being divinely guided to really check in with yourself and kind of balance your own energy out before you make any decisions at all and really check in with yourself and make sure um, that it was not your own insecurities that kind of caused this to begin with. So um, thank you very much for um, watching um, my reading. 
Um, if you would like to have a personal reading, um, please email me. I'll include my email address in the description of the video. Um, those are $40 right now, and I take a variety of different payments. Just reach out to me, and we'll work, we'll work it out. Um, thank you very much for watching.